Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Mama Beth. As you can see, I've still got my pop gun icon up. Um, that's going to be there if you don't know, or if this is, this is your first time tuning in, you're probably thinking, um, what is this about? What's the Isle of Misfit Toys? Okay, there's a group of us that are friends, and we're silly, and uh, we talk a lot, and we do group chats, and we are the Isle of Misfit Toys, and I'm the pop gun because... I made a Christmas video and you all probably have seen it if you follow my channel where I'm holding my new AR-15. <laughs> so that's my character on the Isle of Misfit Toys. So that's why you're seeing the pop gun from uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer <laughs> up on my channel. Instead of my beautiful face, my beautiful face is still going down. The swelling is still going down. And I apologize for... Uh, for any beeps and whatnots from my phone, I'm using my phone uh, to help reference. And I'd like everyone to take a look at the description. You're going to see um, the copyright, the fair use. I will be using audio, not video, but audio uh, from several different streams. But I feel like it should be all right since the streams are about me and a dear friend of mine and several other dear friends. And uh, anyway, I thought, why not take something that's really horrible that has happened, and uh, I'll explain all of it, and turn it into a teaching moment. In fact, um, I was asked not long ago by, of all people, truthfully, Trisha, she said, why don't you do your mental health streams? I really like them. I learned a lot from them. Can you do on bipolar one and two and, you know, uh, it, and, you know, and mix and I told her yes, that I would do them. I haven't done them yet. You know, we all know I've had some health problems, but I thought, you know what, here is a good example. The past few days, we've seen the cycle of a sociopath. Now I did not give a, uh, this diagnosis out it was given uh to this person and you all know who, you'll all know who i'm talking about when you hear a voice but i'm not going to identify her i'm trying to be nice uh but she was given this diagnosis when she was young and then and she did admit that to me and you know and it wasn't in confidence i've never been her therapist um you know i'm not i, I just love these notifications coming up right when i'm filming um I'm not her therapist. And to be honest, we were friends. We were close for two years, but you cannot be friends with a sociopath. They will stab you in the back every time. And it's part of their nature. If you know the difference in nature, remember the story about the scorpion and the frog? Uh, the, the waters are rising. It's raining really bad. The frog is sitting on the side, or he's sitting on a lily pad, rather, on near the side. And the scorpion calls out to him and says, Mr. Frog, Mr. Frog, will you take me across, please? I'm going to drown. I can't get out of here. And the frog said, no, if I, if I come over there and help you, you're just going to sting me. And the scorpion says, no, no, I won't. I promise. I promise. I give you my word. I promise. I, I, I won't do anything like that. Just please give me a ride. And he he finally, he browbeats the frog until the frog says, well, you know, I can't let him die over there. So he hops off the lily pad and uh, the scorpion gets on his back and he starts swimming across the, across the water to the other side. Well, but halfway over, the scorpion stings him. And the frog says, as he's done, why did you do that? I, I was helping you. You begged me and you promised you wouldn't do that. Scorpion says, I can't help it. It's my nature. Okay, so this is what I'm saying is when you have people with uh, personality disorders, which is sociopathy, anti, it's antisocial personality disorder. It's one of the categories. There's sociopath and psychopath. So diagnosed sociopaths, that's, that's in their nature. They can fake it for so long. They can fake a lot of stuff. But their nature is always going to be to turn around and hurt others because they care more about themselves and it's in their nature to be destructive. That's why, and whereas psychopaths are, um, they're usually smarter, a lot smarter, and they are into self-preservation. You know, sociopaths want to help themselves, but then they get all mixed up and tangled up because 
they have control issues and anger issues. And, you know, we see this a lot. And even when they, even when they're in counseling, it's difficult to get them help, but psychopaths are really good. They, they're great at faking it. You know, they don't feel emotion. Sociopaths don't have any empathy. That's the difference. They can show emotion, but they don't have any empathy. They don't care if you're sick. You could be sick and they still want you to go do something with them. And they don't care. They don't care that you're sick. They ain't bringing you chicken soup. <laughs> I mean, just to, don't ask for it. So in dealing with a sociopath this week, um, we had several things occur and I'm going to give them an order and you can judge for yourself. You can uh, judge the actions. Would you do this? Do you know someone who would do this? How do you feel about this if it had happened to you? So if you have a sociopath in your life, like a parent or a brother, sister, cousin, whatever, or if you've dated one, a lot of people say they've dated a sociopath. You'll recognize these behaviors and uh, you'll know to get away from them. And I, when I say get away, get away. Uh, because they're not going to do anything but harm you. And you'll see it. Taking a sip of my Gatorade Zero. Orange as always. If you know me, you know I'm addicted to it. Gatorade needs to give me a sponsorship. Okay. What happened in the beginning? And this video is still up on this person's channel. There was a video made of this woman, two of her friends, and two of the friend's children. The camera was way back. Okay, you can see basically two little dots that are kids' heads. Okay, you can't even see them in their bathing suit or any of that. It's there was nothing wrong with it. I had nothing wrong with the video. I went and saw it after after seeing this stuff happen. You couldn't even tell if the kid was a boy or a girl until you heard her loud voice. And um I thought nothing of it. Well, then she gets her friend, her poor friend to uh, start cleaning the pool, to fix the filter, to start cleaning the pool. Well, a snapshot was made, a screenshot was made at that time and put on uh, my friend, Belle Morte's Twitter. And she was like, you know, I forget exactly how she worded it because somebody said, ah, you should probably take that down. It's got, uh, you know, this other lady's kids in it. And she was like, okay, yeah, she took it down. No big deal. But the whole point was, there goes such and such again, getting her friend to do her, do her work. You know, she doesn't clean her house, she doesn't clean her pool. What does she clean? She doesn't work, you know, and it was made as a statement. If you've been on YouTube for any amount of time, you know, this happens. Whatever you put out in the public is fair game. Okay. If I put a video up on Twitter and we all know this has happened a thousand times, you can take a clip of my video. If it's short enough, and you can do all sorts of things with it and make pictures, make memes, um, put, put a screenshot on and say something ugly about it. I've had all of that done. It doesn't bother me anymore. Okay. Um, seriously, my skin's thick. I'll probably laugh because it's, if it's funny and then I'll roll my eyes if it's stupid, but, uh, you know, and if you do it, be smart with it, make, make it something that's going to make me laugh. But anyway, there was no, Mention the children, it's not about the kids, none of that. It is, however, it was the catalyst. That was the catalyst that this woman, the sociopath, and that's what I'm going to call her, the sociopath, that she claims made her decide to dox Bella Morte, to dox her. She actually paid for a background check. She admits it several times. She's admitted it over several streams. She's also said she's not sorry she did it and that her friend, uh, whose name starts with a Y, who, ne who has yet to speak up about it, that uh, she co-signed it, that she was like, yeah, do it, do it. I don't believe that. I think that she saw the picture, got mad and said, I'm going to dox her and find out what I can and harass her, you know, whatever, because this is how a sociopath works. Control was taken out of her hands. Okay. She had the video up. It wasn't getting any views. I mean, it really, it, nobody, nobody wants to see blurry pictures of three overweight women in a $300 Walmart pool on, in a driveway. I mean, that's not entertaining to us. And then them fussing about the filter and e-bagging for $200 for a new filter. That's not entertainment in non-moms. 
But anyway, she was angry about that. And then when the picture was taken, control was taken. She couldn't do anything. She couldn't force uh, Belle to take it down. She was, you know, the power was not in her hands. It was out of her control. Okay. So she gets the numbers, the phone numbers, because, if you know, you could pay $30. And listen, hey, y'all could try every which way you want. You're not getting my phone number unless I give it to you. Because guess what? Um, mine aren't listed anywhere. You know, the whole thing is you have to protect yourself online. However, Belle had she had moved didn't change her address and i'm going to play what was said i'm going to play the i'm going to play the the tape I'm, I'm, i want you to understand you know exactly how the sociopath works and just how wrong it is and yet how she takes evil pleasure in hurting people for no more than putting a picture up that she herself already made public and it's still on her channel by the way i'd like to say that video is still up on her channel i just checked a few minutes ago so if you want to go see a blurry you know a blurry video with kids you can't even identify you know there was no pedophilia she's tried to claim that there's none of that okay that's her making excuses but we'll get to that all right let's let's go and um let me make sure my volume's up enough because I have to turn my volume way down anymore. Here we go. Yeah, can I talk to Crystal real fast, please? She's not here. Can I have her cell phone number? I she don't have a cell phone. Oh, you don't have a cell phone? No. Oh. Who are you? My name's Katie, and I'm a girl on the internet that she likes to harass. So I was giving her a phone call to see if we could work something out before it gets ugly. Are you her grandfather? Yes, I am. Okay. And do you know she spends a lot of time on the internet causing problems? No, I didn't know. Oh, yes, she does. In fact, her screen name is Bella Morte. And um, she goes around under this name and says horrible things. Like she told people that she was raped not too long ago. Is that true? I'm not going to continue this conversation right now. Bye. Didn't think so. Thank you. <laughs> Got her. Got the motherfucker. Beach life. I tracked her down to her grandparents' house where the motherfucker lived. The fat bitch on the internet and makes fun of me. I got her. Okay, we're going to pause right there for a minute. No, what was because how did she get her? What did she get? The man hung up on her. Uh, she didn't say, does Crystal live there or does Bella Morte live there, did she? No, because she doesn't. Uh, if you called my cousin's house and said, is uh, Mom Beth or is Beth there? They're going to say, no. Well, can I have her cell phone? Uh, whether I have one or not, they're going to tell you I don't. And what does that matter anyway? Okay. But the fact is, this man is 81 years old. He's a member of her family. He's her grandfather, whom she loves very much. And uh, he takes care of her grandmother, who has dementia and is going blind. She called this man at 1030 at night. You know, he's getting ready for bed. He's probably had an exhausting day. As a former caregiver, I took care of my grandmother who had Alzheimer's and rheumatoid arthritis. And let me tell you, that's a long day. She doesn't care about this man. I mean, anybody with any sense, and you can ask yourself this, if you were going to call someone to straighten things out, say you have an argument on the internet and you're like, okay, I'm going to call them. Do you dox them? Do you pay for a report? and uh go through all the numbers calling and asking is so and so there or do you maybe send them a dm or send a send a message to a friend and say i'd like to talk this out and you talk about in dms and if you can't you know it, then fine if you can then maybe you do exchange phone numbers or you change go through whatsapp or uh snapchat or any of the other apps okay messenger but the thing is, when she heard his voice and she asked, is Crystal there, which that's her first name. She used to use it as a screen name. 
she and he said no she should have said thank you and hung up okay and we know better than to give out private information but see she doesn't care she doesn't care because what's Belle's great sin she put up a picture okay that's that's her whole reasoning for doing this right now now we're going to get a little further into this what was that address what was that fucking address okay i'm Where gonna I'm going to mute that down because you don't need the address. We'll get to it. And then I come in. Meridian. And I told her, <laughs> I said, you need to stop this. Coming, dude. I said, you know, right. this is wrong. And then wait till she hears me. She calls me meatballs. She thinks it's. Insulting to me. I love my meatballs. My meatballs are fantastic. So this is where she lives. Oh, this is this is where she's Google Earth. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want that. Uh, 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 uh. You didn't hear that. Grandpa. Yeah, she's trying to say Belle lives what with her grandparents. She's 36 years old. She does not live What's with her grandparents. House is near? It's probably a nice house back in the day. But you can tell the neighborhood's gone to shit. They can't even, they can't even pave their fucking streets. What's the streets got to anything to do with oh, Bell? Meatball. Yeah, meatball, here. you're next, baby doll. You just hold on. You just hold the fuck on. Okay, you're she's, next. I want to say that, wait a minute. I'm I'm gonna gonna okay. She doesn't know my name. She can't remember in the thing where even what state I'm in. She is in such a state of fury. And she it, this is how a sociopath does they work themselves up they work themselves up they work themselves up she also tried to dox my house as well now she's going on google earth and she shows uh bell's grandparents house and then she wants to make fun of their streets not being paid we've seen her house okay um it's nothing to brag about but you know we don't make judgments but a sociopath will take a dig anywhere they can you know you hear throwing it against the wall and see what sticks well that's what they do whatever hurts you whatever you respond to and this is important when dealing with a sociopath um if if you've got someone and they're throwing this at you you're fat you're this you're that you're it, fat's a big one for her i'm fat i don't care um <laughs> but she she calls you fat she'll she'll say whatever she can say to get a rise out of you whatever you respond to a sociopath will hang on to and they will keep saying it over and over and over again see because that's they're not sociopaths aren't as smart but they do know enough to where they can get under your skin and then they want you to react and then they play victim now i don't need to play the rest of this but uh i'm gonna go to the next video that i'll play for you and i'm going to go through it step by step i want to show you this so you understand exactly what was said to the grandfather and that yes she did go on google earth she looked up that address and she tried to find me and you know what anybody can be found if you look hard enough she didn't look hard enough with me fine um i don't know why she'd want to see where i live anyway i have a lovely home um she's she gets obsessed with people she was she's been obsessed with various people sociopaths do this um if they can't win against someone they will you will become their their perpetual victim or their perpetual target i'm not a victim i don't consider myself a victim um but you're always going to be their target like you get mentioned in every video there's not a video that this woman has made that doesn't have meatball or fake doctor i'm not a doctor by the way like to clarify that uh fake doctor or any of that in it so we're watching this play out and of course i'm recording all of it i was on a panel with a lot of women who were very angry very very angry and i'm like we have to put a stop to all of this so i'm having a panel at the same time and she's she's trying to do damage control she's getting a lot of heat okay when a sociopath gets too much hate when people are telling them you messed up you're in the wrong you're in the wrong because remember they always want to look like they're like they're the popular kid they're the you know they're the adults and leading and the, you know everybody loves them 
it's all an ego game it's about ego it's about control they want to be in control like saying my people you know i say hey y'all whenever i start a screen stream i consider everyone that listens valuable and i appreciate everyone who gives me a view i don't call the people who watch my people you're not my people your friends your acquaintances your people who watch and loyal subscribers which i appreciate very much but you're not my people that's sounds like a cult leader doesn't it my people that's jim jones you know that's david koresh hey, my people you're part of our secret club you're part of my army you know sig heil hitler my people you know <laughs> it's it's ridiculous on youtube okay there are no armies on youtube there are no my people there are no it's not a cult and if it, if she wants it to become a cult then she's gonna have to go a lot further with a lot more people but uh you know and i'm certainly not i i'm washing my hands of all of it i hope i can wash my hands of all of it after this but anyway now she's gotten heat all day long um we were in we were in several different streams we were talking about this we were talking about when it happened we were talking about it afterwards and uh i was on several panels after that as well and when i noticed that she was hopping around from person to person to person people were dming me my phone was blowing up i got no sleep they're all like she's trying to get people to say it was okay and nobody will give her the okay so what happens is she started changing the story this is what this is a sociopath's behavior we see this in children children try this um if you've ever had a kid and um they did something wrong and you watched them do it no i didn't no i didn't you, you've seen children act that way well it's kind of the same way with the sociopath no that's not how it happened it happened this way no and uh, you know and people aren't buying it and but then people who don't know her and haven't heard the original like the clip I played you who haven't heard people who haven't heard that are going to go back and say, well, okay, well, whatever, Katie, or, Oh, I didn't mean to use her name and I apologize. Or they say, okay, whatever you say. And they don't really care. And they don't care enough to go back and get the actual facts. That's a lot of the problem. And that's what feeds a sociopath. That's what feeds someone who has a personality disorder. If they're in an argument or anything, they don't want you to see the actual facts. They want to see, they want you to see what they twist the facts into. All right, now, after, okay, this was, excuse me, had to take sip my Gatorade. We went um, to another stream, and the lady there had come into the panel stream. And to be honest, it's called Roll Call. Uh, we were calling out a lot of people. We were very angry. If you watch that stream, you're going to understand why we were angry. We want everyone in our community to come together and say enough with the doxing, enough with calling no families, no kids, nothing. And, you know, and tell people that this is wrong and we don't support it. And to basically shun anyone who does it. That's the only power that we have. YouTube is not helping us. So anyway, this lady came in and somebody i hadn't heard her name mentioned and janie i'll go ahead and say your name because i would i i've apologized to you on twitter and i've apologized to you in savages stream last night and i'll apologize to you here i know that i saw your name in there i didn't know that you did not understand what was going on you did say i hope you were at least at nice to grandpa okay she didn't even want to tell you what she had done and then when she did it was a garbled version um your chat was trying to tell you but i don't think you were paying much attention to the chat i hope you watch the clip it's, it's on twitter it's everywhere i hope you've seen it by now and you understand why we were all so upset and i apologize i did not know that you came in that late and didn't know what was going on and you shouldn't have been everybody shouldn't have been fussing and jumping but you probably shouldn't have laughed about it later on the second string with her, you know, cutting up. But, you know, that's on your conscience, not mine. What I did wrong was I said, no, I don't think I want to give you a link because I was angry. I wasn't going to give anyone who supported that behavior calling and doxing and uh, doing that and doxing me. I wasn't going to give anyone who supported that a link. That was just plain and simple. You know, I think it was already decided beforehand. 
But if you didn't know, okay, you know, you guys should have given you a link. I did not realize you didn't know. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm going to have to mute for a second. This is, happens to be actually an important call. I apologize for that break. I hope you went and uh, maybe paused the video, went and got a snack, took a drink, went to the bathroom. Um, we are taking a trip, a uh, short trip, and our dogs, the dog center just called and said, oh, I do have an opening for your babies. So I'm very, very pleased with that. That was good news. So I had to take it. But um, where was I? Let's see. Okay, so I should have let Janie come on the panel and explain that she didn't know what was going on or she wouldn't have supported it. So, uh, you know, because let's face it, none of us support doxing. And I appreciate everyone who was there and all of that. Anyway, so back to the sociopath. Okay. We know what's going on. And, of course, for the rest of that stream after she Google Earths everything, uh, we got it shut down. And she can say that she just ended the stream or whatever. No, no. Google pulled. It was pulled. And because uh, it was reported and it was reported for privacy violations. And we were all reporting it. And uh, it was down. I mean, it went in the middle of a sentence. So she he, she was stopped. Well, then she's, then she's furious. And then she goes into Janie's stream. And, you know, because Janie, of course, started to stream. She said, I got my own channel. I say what I want. Hey, I'd have done the same thing. But Katie goes in there and, uh, oh shit, I keep saying her name. Uh, she goes in there and she tries to skew the facts. All right. Then, all right. Janie has, Janie has been very open about her mental health issues, which I find very brave. And I've been very supportive of her, uh, you know, her in her journey and her channel. And I hope she knows that. But then because she was because the sociopath wasn't getting the support she wanted, people weren't saying, oh, it's OK, you were fine. I'd have done the same thing. No, they were all saying what you did was wrong. The entire chat, if you look through it, was saying you were wrong. There were a couple of people that are I don't know. I think I think she could murder someone and they would they would say it's OK, we'll get you bail money. But um, the rest were were like, how dare you? You called that old man and to ask about his daughter. About asked about his granddaughter's right. Well, because she wasn't getting the response she wanted, she pulled the suicide card. Yep. She said, well, I, I'm really feel, feeling bad, and I think I feel like hurting myself. Click. Okay. This, and I don't have that clip to play it, and I don't want to play it because it's just going to upset people. I don't want to trigger people. That's not what I'm trying to do. But because... A lot of us have dealt with suicide. I, su I, my patients deal with, you know, a depression, suicide, suicidal ideation. But to go into a chat where you have uh, all these people watching and you know the host has dealt with depression and serious issues and to do that, that's emotional blackmail. Okay. That's all that is. She wasn't being serious. And I said it. I was still streaming. And I said, that's a, they, came right to me and said, well, she's just threatened to hurt herself. I said, she's not going to. Let me tell you, a sociopath doesn't, is not going to hurt themselves. They might uh, make a few scratches or cuts on their wrist or, you know, shoot, they might even really, you know, give a good cut, but they'll make sure that the hospital's nearby and there's an ambulance on the way. This is, you know, and, and I'm painting with broad strokes here. I hope you understand that. Yes, I'm sure there are sociopaths who have, who have managed to, you know, it, to commit suicide, but I guarantee they didn't mean for it to go all the way through. This is a tactic that they use to manipulate you. Understand the sociopath wants to manipulate people so 
they are in control. It's all about control. And that's what that was. So basically, the sociopath threatens suicide and kick leaves the leaves the hangout, leaving poor Janie and everybody that had been watching. And there was a good amount of people hanging. That's selfish and it's mean. But it worked, didn't it? All y'all went running over to her chat to see if she's okay. Okay, this is where we're going to go. And I told y'all this is going to be long. You might as well. I hope you did. Uh, bring a snack but we're going to take this little at a time let me turn my volume up some more and we're going to talk about how a sociopath gets out of trouble and then what happens my fucker sound me right here i understand advocating all right i understand uh telling your story uh giving you know Propping up other women who's been in the same situation or allowing them not to be scared. Maybe they see something through you, but that's not what's happening here. There okay. is this story that's been. Okay, wait a minute. She is saying that because Bell, Bell was asked, of, Bell shared a tiny tidbit of her story, her uh, the accounting of her rape. And I hate even talking about another woman's another woman's horror story she's been she's had to live with for three three years ago this has gone on for three years she told it to someone who said his wife his his or his girlfriend had been sexually assaulted and she was talking to him in private he made it public katie three years ago said you're a liar prove it you're a liar and she's still today saying prove it prove you were right who does that who does that? The sociopath. All right. So she's on here set and she's trying to twist this around that the reason that uh, she doesn't like Belle is because she has shared her story about sexual assault. Now, how does this make sense? That's why she docks her. And it doesn't make sense. In, in the people aren't buying it either. Keep listening. Bellish so much that people who've been around long enough know that the story's changed. That we all across the board agree this is this is bullshit. No, no, no. It's, it's never bullshit. changed. It has never changed. Simple. It's been a. She just told a little bit at first, and then she told the full story. How the fuck would I know? I wasn't there. See, she doesn't I'm know. Just Her pattern is she lies about shit to get attention. No, she doesn't. Just... She doesn't lie about shit to get attention. This is the I way. She hated her grandparents. They were the worst fucking people in the world, and she needed protection and money. Do you love your Do you love your grandparents or do you hate them? I think that you hate them. Okay, wait a minute. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? Okay, uh, less than a few hours earlier, she was saying that uh, Belle lived with her grandparents and all of that. Belle doesn't hate it, hate her grandparents. She has, there's no problem with that. And they can manufacture all the stuff in the DMs and, and Photoshop. But I, I've known her for three years. She's never said she hated her grandparents. None of this. These are lies. This is how easy she lies. Listen to the lies. You probably love them deep down, but you hate them because they kicked your ass out for not having a job and not taking care of your kids. That's what it was. Your, your little buddy done told me. You oh. take care of your kids and you can't believe a man. Who told her? her? Who told her that? What? That's exactly why they had you out of their house. So anyways, that happened. I don't give a fuck. Again, not my business. I've been knowing this. This ain't nothing new to me. She is trying to insinuate, and she's insinuating it hard, that Grandpa told her that Belle was out partying, and they kicked her out of the house. And that's why they had to get her out. Did you hear him say that? No. This is how a sociopath lies. This is how they get you because there's going to be someone who watches this before they watch anything else. And they're going to say, Oh, she's a crappy mom. And they had to kick her out of grandpa's grandpa and grandma's house. And, and you know, because this and that and the other, well, that's reason to hate her. No, it's not <laughs> because it's a lie. It's a lie. Keep listening. fucking crystal so which is it do you hate your grandparents or do you love them 
What's it matter? Are, are they good people? Because a month ago, I got screenshots of you on Twitter asking people for money, saying that you were fear of your life. You had to get out of your grandparents' house. You I had money to do it. I heard her ask somebody to find screenshots. She doesn't have them. There aren't any. I know. I follow Bell. Can you get screenshots, pretty Pete, of that real fast? Go there get, she can you again. please go get screenshots of that so that we can show the people? People, if I'm lying, I'm crying. There's not a fucking tear in my eye. Every day this girl says something about me. When, no. How many times have you heard me say her name if you've watched me? Rarely ever. I don't talk about her. I don't give a fuck. Somebody in the chat she says all the my time. Kids. How do you think I fucking feel about that? I thought it would be okay. I did. Now it's about I guess kids. I made that fucking mistake like the rest of the parents on this platform do. I see everybody else sharing their fucking pictures of their kids. I don't have my own kids. The closest thing I have to my to my own kids is my best friend's kids. And I just wanted to share something with my life that wasn't negative for once. No, so you were angry because, because you didn't have trauma. control. I was just showing you what I do in my time off. She and was, it backfired on me. It sure I has. I got punched in the face. Now Desiree's... Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Now it's all the way back around to, oh, it's about the kids. Okay, first of all, that photo wasn't up, but just for a few minutes, she took it down. Second, the video is still on her channel. If people wanted to go, if, if there were pedophiles that were searching for kids that hard, literally, their they're heads are little blobs. Can't even see them. If they were really working that hard to see those kids, they could go and get the whole damn video downloaded. They could have downloaded it in the last three days. Okay. The only thing that she's angry about is that somebody took a screenshot that she had no control over. And it's a person that she doesn't like. And that, yes, they have argued back and forth for three years because she has called Bell a liar about a, one of the most devastating things that could happen to a woman. Okay. She didn't care. Or she didn't care. Well, I don't care. I'm using her name. She doesn't care. She wants, she just wants to hurt her. She hates anyone that she finds a threat and Belle is pretty and she's smart and, you know, and people like her. I, you know, she has a great circle of friends. She's in my circle of friends. We all care about her and, you know, talk on the phone and okay, I guess she just is jealous because she's, and by the way, no one, no one has been kicked out, me or Belle, Belle or I. Neither of us have been kicked out of any community. Um, I wasn't kicked out of any drama community or beauty community or any of the other communities I visit. I've never been asked to leave anywhere because that's not how it works on YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go ahead. Okay, this is what's really angering her is that her friend is dumping her. Threatening to cancel. Uh, doesn't want to be on nothing. Doesn't want to be part of my... You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want my kids on your why, why on your shit show either. Why would I be punished just for trying to be fucking normal, dude? Would you put your I children never on YouTube? I thought in a million fucking years another woman would screenshot a picture of me in a fucking pool with my friend's kids in their bathing suits and put it on their Twitter. You can only see their that, heads. That thought didn't run through my mind, especially a woman, someone that I knew. The sick fucking part is there is perverts out there. I know that. I know that. I didn't categorize my video under any way that it can be found by, by fucking perverts. It's not categorized. You don't have to and categorize your video no anyway. A perverts actually did that to me. Uh, a woman, a mother did that to me. And no, to nobody friend. did anything to you. She screenshotted you ordering detour around. Why can't around. I be normal, dude? Why can't I just show normalcy? I can't do that. Hear the poor pitiful man? I fucking boyfriend for two years from you people not because i wanted to i didn't i want you guys to know about my life i want to be real with you i can't be every time i give a little bit they take a fucking mile i admitted i have a bay i admit i have a boyfriend what happened they fucking doxed him okay hold up wait a minute this whole doxing her bay or roommate or whatever he is okay she put him on film Everybody saw the, the screenshots. He's an older man. He looks like he's in his 60s. 
Nobody doxed him. I don't know the man's name. Nobody knows the man's name, but this is how she lies. This is how sociopath lies. Oh my gosh, I share a little of my life with you and you doxed him. No, we didn't. But you know what? You doxed him because you have your address in the description, your actual physical street address in the description of this video. Every video has it. So if anybody doxed this man, whatever his name is that you live with, I call him Grandpa Jones. Okay, because he looks like a nice, nice grandpa, you know, and if that's your thing, you know, I say go for it. But as a sociopath, it's always somebody else's fault. She's never wrong. Notice that she's not apologizing at all for doxing the both of us. And I would like to point out that Belle has two small children. She has two children. Well, one's, one's a little older, but on the spectrum, two children on the spectrum who heard part of this part of the original string and they were like and because and i would like to call out art deco for making the threat to call cps uh he can backpedal all he wants but yeah there were threats to call cps on this woman as well because that's that's what people do apparently now that makes no sense this woman's a good mother she has two children they overheard that CPS might be called on their grandparents and they're terrified. They're like, what did we do? Why are we, why is this happening? And Belle is a good mother and she calmed them down. But it, I mean, this woman, this sociopath, she did traumatize children. She did harm kids, but you don't hear her say anything about Belle's kids. You won't hear that. You know, uh, she's blowing up, taking a snapshot of and, and please go see the video go see the pool video watch me swim with my friends i believe that's the name go watch it see the part where she's telling detroit that she needs to fix the pool cleaner that's the whole thing kids way in the back of the pool you can't even see okay but it's now it's all about here we go into the pedophile rant not even on here he's not said one Oh, this is the bag. He thinks it's all my fault. Her boyfriend. Yeah, he I thinks it's all your him. fault. You are at fault. But she's not going to listen to that. I sat there and my, didn't say a fucking word for two weeks. I had to work and shit. You know, I have shit. I cannot let this shit affect my real life. I can't. Because if I let this carry over, then I don't make money being a bartender. I don't make money. Okay. Affecting real life, like calling so people and families. Whore, God damn it. Then. But she's I can't show out. anything normal or positive or fucking just anything on my fucking channel without it getting backfired. Now it's I'm worked out. With my friend because this happened. This is a sociopath way. She ain't mad at me. She's mad at the situation. Just, it's not my fault. She's upset for her daughters. So it, nothing. Nothing is my fault. She's just upset at the situation. The situation is. I don't know how much more I can take, dude. You filmed. You filmed the pool, you know? the kids, and you put it up on your channel. Somebody took a I'm screenshot. Over it. Oh, now I really am. Now here we I'm go. I'm damned if I do. I'm damned if I don't. I'm fucked with daily. When I finally tell a motherfucker or put them in their place, I have a community that wants to come after me. The same motherfucker who's fought after you guys time and time again. All of you, one time or another. She's Where's never fought mine? for me. She never fought for anybody that I know of. How you would have blown your motherfucking head off if you dealt with what I deal with for one day? Now you aren't strong like I am. She's strong, but she's getting I have to suicidal. Lie to my own self to get fucking through it. I can't even put up a fucking video of me being in a goddamn pool with my friends. It's gonna backfire. I can sit here and drag ass for hours. That'll backfire. I'm up for it. I'm on my fucking wall. Oh, she does that the next day. Shit. Why, why would I, why do I deserve, you fucked with kids, you fucked with kids, bitch, fuck your grandpa, I'll call him again. Oh, you know? wait, did you just hear that? You effed with kids. No, she didn't. Nobody did. The only person that did anything with Desiree, her friend. Uh, and I don't blame Desiree for not wanting her children on social media. I wouldn't either. The only person that did anything with kids is uh, the sociopath here. I mean, let's face it. She put the video up.
You could take a zillion screenshots. I mean, you could have screenshots for days off of one video. We all know that. Okay, one screenshot was shown, and it was about you in Detroit. It wasn't about your children. You can't even identify the children. I would know those kids if they walked down the street. Nobody would. But look at how she's twisting this. It's not about her doxing someone and calling their elderly grandfather and, you know, who is already under enough stress and asking him about his granddaughter's rape and then him hanging up on her. This is about it's because Belle messed with kids. It's because everybody else is mean to me. I can't do anything and everybody's mean to me and I'm standing up for myself. You all couldn't handle it. This is the way a sociopath twists things around. It's very interesting. I'm telling you, if you look at this from the outside, which frankly, you know, as, as Belle's friend and as the friends that I have, I'm very thankful that we are a strong group of women uh, and men. But looking at this, I, I'm just, it's fascinating because I'm picking this apart. I have seen this before so many times. And it's it's pure manipulation. It's emotional manipulation. Hang on a second. And let's see how well she tries to cry. You're a low life. He kicked you out of his house. No, he didn't. Because you can't take care of your kids. No. Nope. You kept leaving your elderly grandparents with toddlers. No. Nope. He never said that. Oh, Nobody ever has. Your grandpa already knew what a piece of shit you are. Really? He told you that? Well, you're you were just saying a month ago how you hate, and I repeat, hate everyone in your family, especially your grandparents. Uh, she doesn't have any so family today, other than her grandparents. So convenient for you all to say, oh, it's, it's, Grand, Pat Paul's a victim. Yeah. I'll bet you all, Pat Paul's had worse shit said to him by better people in his life. Well, that's not hard. When it's what? You. Papal's upset because I told him the truth? Truth hurts, Pappy. Get over it. But I thought you had Just a long like conversation with. This bitch is dragging my dead mom. Wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nobody dragged her mother. Okay. We need to stop that. Nobody dragged her mother. Nobody dragged her daddy. What we did say was she threw a fit when somebody. Now, she had her obituary on her mother's obituary. I did. I had nothing to do with this this but she was fighting with other people they put her mother's obituary up and i think they made some comment like she would be so proud or something like that i don't know i don't have the gist of it i don't care but they were fighting back because she had gone after someone else's dead father so uh, she's not her innocence you know but that's a sociopath she attacks and then when she gets attacked back she's a victim victim you know, because it's never her fault. But uh, nobody dragged her mother. Nobody dragged her dad. I just said, how would she feel if her father had been called? And the same things had been asked of him. I mean, her her father's elderly. You know, I I'm, I try to be empathetic. That's the only thing that was ever said about her parents. And nobody's, nobody's dragging her parents. So all of this is... All of this is, you know, being made up. These are just, these are fairy tales. Talk about my dad, my elderly fucking dad, who's barely alive. He looked pretty healthy at the Ponderosa. Left, they're going to attack that. i got to get over the fact. Oh, here we go. Now the child. Decision to go swimming in my pool with my friends and their kids to show you people that there's more to me been yelling and screaming. Is there? Been fighting with people. Been doing true crime or whatever I maybe do. There's more faucets to me. That was just one faucet. I wanted to show you normalcy. I, I think she means facets. And it fucking backfired. I don't care. They walk through the camera. Who cares? Okay, that's where the guy that lives <coughs> there went went through the scene. Nobody cares. I have let everything fucking go. I have let shit go from my work being called. My family being called. My dead mom, my dead fucking mother dug up out of the ground. Let that motherfucker die. Whoa! Who calls their mother 
my dead effing mother let that mf -er die okay i'm sorry i don't uh, you know who says that about their mother and then tries to say you're hurting my feelings when you do it something is not right here am i are you all seeing it it's not about you're hurting me because i'm a grieving daughter who's lost her mother many years ago and it still hurts it's it's just about the fact that you've got something to dig at me with. Uh, I don't know who's bringing up her mother, but if you're calling her an MF, I don't think you had much respect for her. I mean, frankly, don't, don't play poor little girl, you know, when, when you're doing that. I mean, just, but that's a sociopath. She could do it, but nobody else can't. Rules don't apply to her. Rules don't apply to a sociopath. You got to remember that. Remember, we're playing the game. It's all a game with her. It's it's wins and loses. It's she thinks if she has a video with lots of views and she's got lots of subs, she's winning. She has a video that doesn't say get many views. She's losing. That's how she rates her life. And that's how sociopaths do it. How many people do I have on my list? And they will make list after list. Um, they will, they will make hit lists. <laughs> Who's on my shit list today? Who do I approve of? And who do I need to have, start a problem with or have a problem with? They may not write it down, but they have it in their head. They will plan it. They plan arguments. This was planned. She could have ignored that photo. Okay. She ignores a lot of stuff that's on the internet. She causes a lot of problems. Sociopaths like to be drama and in trouble and causing stuff and having people talk about them. They like to be the center of attention all the time. This is what her uh, true crown. That's why she's not the whole baby of my is. Yeah. She doesn't need to go around that family. They're going, no, it's, she's, she has pretty much ruined that. I think she needs to stay away from me. Crime scenes. But, um, you know, but this is a sociopath thinking that they can do whatever they want and uh, they don't have to follow the rules. And, you know, everyone else has to follow them and listen to them. And if you don't, then you get the screaming demon right here. So listen, keep listening. Peace, God damn. Let her fucking be dead. You think I don't know people that my mom's dead? I don't need you reminding me every week on Twitter. I don't need you making fun of my dad. He's barely making it right now. When he dies, I'm going to be nothing. Okay. I'm going to have nothing. Now. You're going to see me fucking fall apart like you want to. There's no tears it's here. it's going to happen. It's going to happen really fucking bad. She okay? can't work up a tear. I'm watching. Just let me have a normal. Just let me be me. This is the poor pitiful me. I have not fucked with these people. I'm new and true crime. I've gotten myself away from Wait, the wait. She says she hasn't has an act with so us. Upset yes. Yesterday. Yes, she has. When my fucking friend's kids were on there and I had I was powerless. I couldn't do <gasps> anything. The truth. I couldn't say anything to my friend to make it better because she follows all of us. Darling Desiree, if she follows you, that's my best friend, and she finds you interesting. She There's a bit of proof. Of Here comes. Here comes. And it made me feel like a piece of shit, you know, because I let my friend down, and I didn't want yes, to do that. Did. And I told her it'd be all right, and I let her down, dude. And I'm sorry, I gotta cry. I'm just like, I'm my anxiety is through the roof. I don't know how much more I can take. I'm not as strong as I put off to you people. But she never takes responsibility for any of her I'm actions. Not. And I'm tired of pretending like I'm this strong person because I'm not. I can't handle it. But I thought I she was I stronger. Get away from drama, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I can't handle it. I'm tired of it. Vinny G, thank you. Vinny G gave that us some money. Person. People and weren't happy with him. Rough and we're, no, I love Nick Sinto. No one's going to tell me anything about him. Okay? No one's going to tell me anything. He had nothing to do with this. Vinny <laughs> came into my chat last night and donated 20 fucking dollars to me. Yeah, he also came in our crap. chat and, threw, and gave crap. his money. They have nothing to do with any of this. I no, it's all, all you. It's all you. I did it all on my own. 
uh, see, there we go. We have a little everybody. truth. I didn't tell everybody. I just told, uh, I told Butch, I told Yava, I said, I'm going to go on there and I'm going to put in a fucking address and I'm not going to say who it is. I'm just going to fuck with her. And then that was my plan. And then in a matter of literally a few hours, the picture of baby SJ in her bathing suit and Oh, wait a minute. So you were going to, now she's saying she docks Crystal. She looked up all of her stuff, Belle. The picture um, went up and I was hurt. So she did that before? Really bad, dude. The picture because went up? I didn't See, want I thought to it was that. This is what sociopaths are Look, I have a lot of things slow. coming and I know when I have them coming and I take it like a champ. But this time I really didn't see that coming, especially from another woman. Uh, she's got it all mixed up now. I thought she looked so her up and doxed her I and me. wanted to hurt her as much as I was hurting at the time. Because of the picture. And I figured the only way I could do it, because she tried, you know, she used to go by her real name anyway. Oh, so here's that's an excuse. So that's the, that's her excuse her for doxing. Crystal, and I'm not going to say her last name so she can strike this. I'm leaving this up. I don't care. Strike me down. And this she is up. You can see the whole thing name. yourself if you want. And I said, no, when she was in the beauty community, that was her name, was Crystal Black, her name. She changed her name to change her idea to fucking sneak around. You know, no, it's not to. sneaking around because it's, figured out, okay? it's because people so will harass you. I, I mean, hurt her as bad as I was hurt. My last name is not world. Hurt. I had to protect my friend. I had to protect my friend's kids. Wait I a didn't minute. I didn't know what to do. I was powerless. There we go. I had to protect my my friend's kids no you were you just said that you doxed bell before the picture went up that you told yabe what you were going to do and you doxed bell beforehand see this is when the truth comes out this is why i say sociopaths aren't as smart as other people who have uh you know personality disorders they get their lies mixed up and you can trip them up and she, her lies keep getting more and more elaborate. And as she keeps live streaming, you'll see the lies will change. Y'all keep referring back to these. You know, download them, do whatever. If you want a link to, I have the original videos. Uh, I have all of them. I'll be happy to send you a link. Not a problem. But uh, yeah, keep keep the facts straight. Don't let her. Don't let the sociopath twist things so much that you get confused. Always refer back to the facts. That's when when you are in counseling or working with uh, a sociopath, you take notes. You take notes from the very start, what they said at the beginning, all the way through, and you take them detailed because they'll switch it up on you. Oh yeah. And if you are, if you have someone who is a sociopath in your life. They're going to drill you on details, but then they forget theirs. Okay. They think they're smart. They think they're smarter than everybody, but they're not. And, you know, this is what I want you to understand. And I want you to understand about the situation. And here we go. I, uh, <clears throat> so I did what I did to fucking hurt her as bad as I was hurting at the time. Because a lot of things have hurt me in the past. And I'm sure I've hurt her and many other people too. I'm not innocent. But you know, but you know I let it go. They don't. They wait for me to say, they antagonize me until I fucking say something. And then they use it to build this army against me. There's no armies. Till the next time they find something to use against me. No. Like, what would what would be good the, is if you, you apologize and don't repeat the same behavior. I don't even have Twitter. I don't have Twitter to defend myself. I don't have Twitter to fucking make fun of them if I wanted to. I don't want to use my platforms to mention that. How many she, times have you heard me say the name Bella? A Please. lot. A How lot and me every day. Every time you upload. Hardly ever. I never mentioned her. Okay. Second of all, I don't have Twitter. I can't defend myself. Well, first of all, she had Twitter. She's had about five accounts and they've all been taken from her because she has gone after everybody and used the foulest language and made death threats and everything else. Finally, Twitter took Twitter not only took down her IP address, but she had a VPN and they still took her down because she was so vile. Now, what does that say? I don't know why YouTube allows this to happen allows her to do this i'll tell you what if she's if this keeps up we're just going to keep 
you know, people need to keep long forming. They need to do privacy strikes, which doxes. And if anybody is doing this to you, you need to do the same thing. Okay. I'm not just picking on this one person. I want you to understand that. If somebody was doing it to somebody I didn't like or did like or whatever, you know, I would say you need to strike that. You know, this is wrong. Just like we did the video that she was doxing. I didn't, uh, didn't do anything about this. Here we so, go. So, I'm not going to say sorry for what I did because I did, that would be a lie. I'm not sorry. She's never sorry. I'm not. Never I'm sorry. I, I, wish, I wish I could say to those people who are so mad at me right now and think what I did was so wrong. I wish I could sit up here and say I'm sorry and mean it. But it's not true. I'm not sorry. In fact, I wish there was something more I could do to fucking hurt this bitch. Really? That's how hurt I am right now. Hurt people oh, fucking hurt people. All yeah. Right? Bell hurt I'm her not somehow. By putting a picture I'm not up. hurting you guys. If you notice, my pattern is I take a lot of shit from people until I explode and then I go cut fucking throat because that's the only way I know how to do it. No. She pokes at people. She's always constantly stirring until she gets somebody that. We'll fight back and won't and we'll stand up to her and she hates that. Steph, I don't I that's what I want to say. I don't feel sorry for it, so I don't want to lie. She doesn't feel sorry for any of it. In fact, I felt pretty fucking good doing it, to be honest with you. To upset ask for the numbers. A grandfather a background check. Two children a numbers, and a mother. Okay. And then docks are homes. Here, I'll call the number right now. I still have it written down, guys. I still I still have the fuck. She's lying to you when she says I called repeatedly. I'll show you my phone log. I will show you, and you can go she back did. to my stream and match she up. She did call time. repeatedly. She called a wrong number. A, she actually called Bell's house, and then uh, it was on call ID, and then she calls the grandfather. Okay, ninety nine point nine percent of whatever. All right, there's that one percent. If I can get away with it, I try. Yeah, she admits the lie. The first number I fucking called. Here, wait a minute. Almost. I'll show you my phone log. Listen to this. I'll show you, and you can go back to my stream and match up the time. I'm not. A, I have no reason to lie to you guys. <sighs> I own almost. Okay, ninety nine point nine percent of whatever. All right, one uh -uh. percent. If I can get away with it, I try. The first number I fucking called. All right, hold on. I'm gonna point this out, and this goes for not only people who are sociopaths. But if you're wondering if someone's lying, if they can look you in the eye and if they can tell you honestly I, that they're telling the truth and you'll get a feeling, you'll get a, you'll, you'll get a feeling about that person. If that person doesn't normally lie to you or other people, they don't tell you that they've lied about this or that or the other. That's the way you find it. You can, you can look for eye twitches and look into this way or that way and all of that. But you have to go with facial expressions and you have to go with body language and you have to hear how they how they say what they're saying. If they're saying, I am telling you the truth. If they say, I never lie. I don't have to lie. I don't have any reason to lie. I never, ever lie. That's a lie. We all tell untruths, whether it's telling somebody that they look better, that they look really good in an outfit that they may not look so great in. Or your hair looks good today just to say something nice and it might be okay. But, uh, you know, we all ca catch ourselves and, and we call those white lies, but they're still lies. You know, and we try not to. Most decent people really try not to. But, you know, and then there are people who lie for the fun of it. Who lie just to see how much they can get away with. Sociopaths are like that. Borderlines, borderlines lie a lot. Borderlines like the drama even more so than, uh, I, I guess they're probably the highest on the drama scale. But, uh, you know, bipolar, when you're, when you're bipolar and your moods are shifting, if you slip into a psychosis, yeah, you may say all sorts of things you're not, you're not necessarily meaning to lie, but you just have a skewed view. And that's, you know, and that's not something you can control when you're in a psychosis, but we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about deliberate lying. And the things that have been said on here by the sociopath are deliberate lies. Lies. And, you know, so 
if you've got someone in your life that does this, that goes through the, okay, now you remember, this is only um, 1509 into this. So about 16 minutes before this part of it, she told people that she was going to hurt herself. Now she's already saying that she wants to call grandpa back and do something worse. Let's continue. I know this I'm is I'm not going to show you the numbers. There's no reason to. It was disconnected. So I went to the ah, second this number. Is, this is all bullshit. She's trying to explain how she made phone so calls. Nobody cares. That number, it must have been a landline. I, I guess it's a landline. I don't know. I'm assuming. A landline to Mama and Papa's house where she lives. She doesn't live there. You think I just went, oh, there's your grandpa's number. I'm going to call and fuck with him. No, no but I should have. I should call your mom and dad. Like, you like to fuck with well, my her mother's mom and dad. dead, oh, and it was the anniversary of her mother's death that day. That's fucking nerve of you. And you told her happy anniversary. I, I can fuck with your parents. No, that wasn't my intent. My intent was to talk to you, bitch. Well, then why don't you DM her? I thought it was okay. Put my friend's kids up on your Twitter. All this ever picture? I don't think so. I think somebody needs some drama in her life. She started looking her up, and then that picture popped up. Oh, perfect excuse. Because that's how sociopaths work. That's how they think. You know, she needed an excuse for it. And anyone that believes the cockamamie bull that I she's saying now. Chats. Don't think I'm ungrateful. I'm manic right she now. She only like got one fucking, super chat, and that was from Vinny G. My anxiety is through the fucking roof about this. I'm pissed. I am fucking pissed. Oh, but she's, I can't get over this it. This does not sound Listen, like anxiety. I, this is anger. Best friend, if it was your kids or someone did this to you, you'd be just as upset, and I would understand it. This had nothing to I'd do with like, those kids. I'd be like, fuck that no good motherfucker. You know I would. I said I I have stood against this community a million fucking times with no one behind me. Aww. And I still come out ahead every time. No, you don't. And I will come out ahead this time too. Okay. Like we're gonna stop. I we're gonna stop. I know this is dragging on and I apologize for that. I told y'all this was gonna be long. Okay, first of all, she has not stood up against the community and come out ahead every time. She has caused major rifts in the community. And uh she still thinks she's somehow winning. She, uh, there's uh, with sociopaths, they have a skewed view of themselves. They believe that they're, they have to be, they're the wannabe prom queens, prom king. You know, they they want to be class president, but they don't have their shit together enough. Sociopaths are like, um, like the younger, ineffective brothers and sisters of the psychopaths i mean psychopaths are the ones that usually end up being president uh prom king first in their class because they because they're devoid of emotion they can concentrate on the task at hand watch dexter okay the reason dexter okay i'm not advocating being the serial killer at all here but dexter is a great example if you're looking for a fictional psychopath no motion. Doesn't get caught. Why doesn't he get caught? Because he's freaking smart. He doesn't leave any I's undotted or T's uncrossed. Right? Watch Dexter if you want to see that. Um, you know, he everything is, is just right. He makes sure of every last detail. A sociopath would go in there with a chainsaw and you know just rip through people and you know he would it'd be caught in a matter of minutes you know uh, there's no way you know a sociopath's going to be able to pull off more than maybe a couple murders unless they pull off ma uh, do a mass murder because they're not smart enough to plan it and they can't keep their emotions under control they always want to be in control but they can't keep their own emotions in control enough to get the job done and they're not, they're, they're usually just not as smart and they're emotionally dominated. So this, okay, this is what's happened so far. Let's close that out. All right. And I just think, you know, I find things that happen on online like this, we need to learn from them, you know, and, you know, it, this happens to be about uh, someone that I don't care for who has come at me for the last well it's been over a year now uh because i refuse to lie with her I, I refuse to lie for her to cover her ass and her friends 
I, I don't do that. I wasn't going to do it. Um, so she's been mad at me ever since. And oh, I'm a terrible person. She's going to call me a meatball. Don't care. She calls me a fake doctor. I, you know what? If I said I was a doctor, I would be a fake doctor because I'm not a doctor. But anyway, uh, so now what happens? Okay. The sociopath. Sorry, she's not sorry. She'd do it again a thousand times. Now. She gets, it, that was uh, at not the night before last. She's crying, boo-hoo, my dad, my this, my that. I'm saving kids. Then, and that's still up. Then it hits her. I looked vulnerable last night. And a sociopath will do that. And this is less than a day later. And, uh, yeah. Do you know these people are sitting there? Like, these disgusting motherfuckers are on there talking shit about me for now, the language. Saying he's got whiskey dick. Saying he's got this, that, and the other. How in the fuck would Shannon know what a dick is? Okay. Oh, that's right. She looks between her legs. That these were people that were it, not even the nerve talking to, talk to this woman. Anybody. Vincento, uh, can you please sit? Uh, send one of my mods that picture that you have. Yeah, um, she got him to make some yeah, picture uh, of me. I don't know. Old Shan man. She made one of Shannon and one of me, and I she's don't know. a pathetic older lady who has not a. She ain't got shit, dude. She's a, she's like I'm bipolar, bitch. Shut the fuck up. You would give this somebody is, bipolar. By this is the same person she's you just disgusting. heard. Like Crying. I'm trying to be nice Poor to her, but she man. cringes you out just looking at her. She looks like Doc from fucking Back to the Future, but a hundred years older. The in a hundred pounds and a hundred pounds overweight. Fuck. No, more than that. She's probably about And I again I apologize I for the right language. That she's using white hair sticking up to the sky. Wanna come on talking okay. shit about anybody? We're going to fast forward because uh, that's enough. Thing. Dude, I hate when mongrels breed more mongrels. And they do it Whoa. for fucking welfare money. And no one's going to tell me differently. So you have fucking sloth head out here making ugly little fat kids. Making more fucking ugly fat kids. She takes the fucking pictures and trolls. And yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So this is, now, this is the rant. Like, because I feel like. For the people who lie about sexual abuse and try to get that attention from the real Ooh. victims, you're sick. You're sick. You know what? You're sick, sick motherfucker, this. dude. There are real people out here getting their ass raped and shit like that. Okay, now she now she's a rape advocate <laughs> after all that. I was like, dude, you're no good. Thank you for telling us this information, but bye, bitch. Used her up. Used her up and gave her the good old boo out the fucking door. So, so yeah, she that, admits that on. how she treats people. She lied about the rape situation. Okay. And and now she's back on Bell. Send me messages, and I'm gonna put up all my little clips. I was not home. Oh, Crystal lives there. Yes, she does, but she's not wait. home. Oh wait, 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 wait! This is where she's Sarah. It's Sarah. She's not even a hater. That. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is such a typical thing. Now, you heard the clip in the beginning of the grandfather of the conversation. Everybody heard it. Now, listen to what she says the conversation was. Bitch is my number one fan. Next to the sloth head, the big fat ass that wants to be on keto. It's Bitch, coming. you need keto two years ago. It's coming. Exactly, Daria. I never disrespected that old man. I never even cussed. I asked him three questions. Is Crystal home? No, Crystal's not home. Oh, Crystal lives there? Yes, she does, but she's not home. Can no, I have Crystal's never said that. phone number? Crystal doesn't have a phone. Oh, well, did you know? Well, did you know that she's out here running amok on the internet, lying about being raped? He said, no, I didn't know. I don't want to talk about this. Okay, I'll talk to you later. How was that disrespectful? Same bitch who uh -uh. calls my job. Shit like that. She never Don't called her I job. I know about that. But did you did you see how she twisted it around like he was friendly to her? No, he wasn't. And he didn't say yes. She does live here. She doesn't. She lives about eight miles away. She said she showed us her house. I mean, we were like, no, no, you don't have to show us your house because we like to protect everybody, you know. But yet she was like, no, this is where I live, and I actually have her address, so I know it's different from her grandparents. So anyway, 
Uh, mm -hmm. As you can see, she's just kind of going you know, right here off. She's a child predator. Now she's, she's calling. She's a child predator. And let me tell you why. Listen to this. She took a picture of my friend's kids in a bathing <gasps> suit along with me and my other friend and put it on her Twitter page. She couldn't even see the kid. It looked like a little dot. I think she wants to kidnap Desiree's kids. I've already contacted the authorities about it. We've already made phone calls and shit. They are well aware. Uh, she's going to be in big trouble very soon. Are you I feel this? like um, it, it puts fear in me that she wants to come and kidnap baby SJ. Uh, and may, or what's the, what's worse than that? Like, why would you have these kids? Are you obsessed with kids now? Do you enjoy watching little girls in their bathing suits? Are you taking screenshots of children in, in bathing suits and putting it on your Twitter? So one of two things. Either one, she's out to kidnap my friend's kids. Or two, she's out to sexually abuse my friend's kids or present them to sexual abusers on Twitter. I can't figure out which. And all of it's pretty fucking disgusting to me. So I went ahead and called the police on her. Uh, Pat Paul, get this. The same Pat Paul she's so bothered that I fucking called is the same Pat Paul. I have screenshots. Stay close. Stay with me. No, I shouldn't. have screenshots of her calling him. Saying she fucking hated him a month ago. Nah, she Why didn't. Why she hate him? I looked for those screenshots that she supposedly had. She never came up. But did you hear that? Now, it went from, because uh, all Bell actually did, the picture was only up for a short amount of time. She took a picture of Katie making Detroit clean the pool. And she made a comment on it. The kids were in the back of the pool. This, by the way, once again, this video is still up. So if there were predators and, you know, the hungry wolves after after those kids, don't you think she would take the video down? She put it up. All Belle did was take a picture of her order and detour it around and say, damn, now she's got to clean your pool after having to clean your house because she did make her clean windows and it was nasty. But this is how a sociopath works. It's gone to now Bell wants to kidnap those children or sexually abuse them. And now the sociopath has called the cops. I'm sure the cops get a lot of calls from her. Okay. What have we learned today? What have we learned? A sociopath will find a target. They will find a target. We know that uh, she chose Bell as a target. The sociopath chose Bell as a target way before any picture came out. She admitted it. She told her friend Yaba. She told her. Uh, Yaba doesn't want anything to do with this and has made it very clear. I think that's very wise of her. Um, she's got a lot more important things to do. She's, you know, under understandably doesn't want in this. So she had already decided that day to dox L. Then she sees that picture and gets mad because she can't do anything about it because she's been suspended so many times from Twitter. She is never again in her life or no one who lives at her address can get a Twitter account. Okay. Um, so she'd already doxed her. The picture came up. She got mad as about her in Detroit, but, but because there were little, little bobs, Little, little heads that you can't even see. Couldn't even. I couldn't have told you it was a boy or girl. I wouldn't recognize them today if I saw them. And the picture wasn't up very long, but Katie post or she posted it and the video, all of that. It's fair game on online. I mean, it, we all know that. So she's angry. Now she's got a reason. She calls. Until she gets a hold of someone, anyone with any with any kind of morals or decorum, or anyone with home training, when the, uh, a gentleman answered the phone, is so and so there? Now she's not okay. Thank you. Hang up. No, that's not what she did. That's not what she did. She wanted to uh, harass Bill, and she wanted to hurt her by saying things that were just uh, it was it it was so wrong what she said 
There's no defense of it. And now it's gone on and on. And because she didn't get any support from people who goes, oh yeah, it's great to call somebody's grandfather and ask about them being right. Uh, and threatening to call CPS uh, from the, from the peanut gallery and the kids getting upset. And, you know, you got two children, one on the spectrum uh, and a young mother who the three of them live alone. The grandparents live alone. I mean, seriously, this woman's trying to get support out of it. And so she's lying. She's now twisting this around to work. Uh, Belle's a child predator. Going to come after the kids, going to kill them, going to hurt them, going to, you know, kidnap them. What, where do you, where does a mind go to find that? And you, if you have dealt with a sociopath, you know, they come up with these crazy lies. She, uh, this, this one, she, and I'm not going to play all of it because it's honestly, this video has gone too long, but, um, she also said things <laughs> about me and my husband. My name apparently is Angela now. Um, I live with my in-laws who bought my house and I guess they bought all my cars too. Um, I don't know. She comes up with the most off the wall accusations and she runs with it. And you know what? If you scream lies loud enough and, and you'll understand this as you, if you've not been on YouTube very long, you've not followed uh, different things, but, or if in life you, you will see it. If you scream lies loud enough, long enough, people will eventually start to think there's something to it. Well, it must be true. They keep saying it. You saw this in Nazi Germany. Uh, it was crowd control. You know, they kept saying the Jews were bad. The Jews were bad. The Jews were the reason for all of the financial crisis because the Jews, uh, the Jews were normally the ones that you went to for lines. And because if, and if you don't know anything about religious history, Christians weren't allowed to do your story, which is uh, give a loan and charge interest. But in Judaism, they're allowed to. So if, you didn't have somebody that was willing to give you a uh, loan straight out, you know, with no interest, you would go to someone of the Jewish faith and get a loan and you would pay, you know, interest on the loan. So they controlled a lot of the finances. And, you know, that's why, that's why they were welcomed in, you know, different cities. Now, you know, we they weren't, they were mostly merchants and bankers and, you know, the money handlers, things like that. But then in Nazi Germany, oh, they're the reason that we don't have any money. It's because of them. And they're dirty and they're mean and they're this and they're that. Even Walt Disney was in on it. Because it was being said so much. People who had lived next door to Jewish families started looking at them sideways. They uh, they started buying it. When you see, you know, Juden written on you know, in great big letters and paint on every store, you start avoiding those stores because you're like, oh God, there must be something wrong. Well, what happened then is ha can happen in smaller doses other places. Okay. She screams, this sociopath screams lies long enough. People start to believe them. Okay. Ask any of the people that were on my panel that night. And we talked about it. She has, she has gone one, two, three, four, five, all through people. She's still after me. And she's going to be on bail for a long time. Because she's still going to try to justify what she's done. She will never apologize for it. There will be no apology. And even if you had her in thumb screws and she said, ah, I'm sorry. She wouldn't mean it. And she'd do it again. Because she doesn't care about anybody but herself and having control. But she loses it, as you see. You know, the manipulation of I'm suicidal, I'm so depressed, poor pitiful me. In less than eight hours was screaming how, uh, you know, those kids that she wanted to kidnap those kids and you know she's a sexual predator and i'm calling the i called the law already and things are going to happen and this and that and the other uh, you know it's all manipulation so i hope you all have enjoyed the stream 
I look forward to your comments. This is educational. Um, I don't think anybody should take this as being, a, you know, I, I haven't tried to be offensive with this. I want you to understand it. It shouldn't be offensive. Shit, we all put it out. <laughs> We put it all out there publicly. Every one of these streams was public. If you had gone to my channel, Belle's channel, uh, I was on Bitchin' in the Kitchen. That's my other channel. If you want to go over there and see the panel. Um, Janie's stream, I think, is still up. It's Janie and Nippy Late Night. Uh, Ms. Understood, Ms. Effing Understood. I'm not, I'm trying not to cuss as much. Um, go watch. Go watch all of them. Now, some people have dirty deleted. That's what we call it when you get on there and make a, you know, an ass out of yourself and delete it. But if you want to see anything that's been deleted, I'll be happy to send it to you. Um, all you have to do is ask. But uh, it, you know, the I can send you clips, whatever you want to see. But the thing is, it's not, I'm not here to bash. I'm not trying to bash anyone. All of this was done in public. That's what I'm trying to say. And I want you to learn from this. Watch, watch these things. And, you know, you can be, you can go in people's chats and not co-sign what they do. But if you're in there and you're talking and cutting up and having a good time and they're doing something like doxing someone, be like the people that I was so proud of and speak up and say, hey, this is wrong. This is not right. And there were a lot of people in there telling me that they got thrown out. but. You know, the people that you watch, remember your views count, the time counts, the subs count, all of it. All right. I think I have covered about everything. If you have any questions, you can always DM me on Twitter, Mama Best World One, and uh, leave me leave me comments. And as always, nobody trolls. If you're going to leave troll comments, I just delete them. <laughs> All right. You have a wonderful day. I love you. You, you love you. Bye-bye.